Good morning and happy Saturday. We are up dressed. I say good morning, it's not morning, is it? No. It's probably like one o'clock, I have no idea. Um, stuff to go and drop off a local order for the shop um, and then do some food shopping. Neither of us have been feeling particularly great for the last two days. Not COVID, but just generally not great. Um, so I actually really just want to stay on the sofa today, I'm not gonna lie. But things to do. So we're going to get them done and then we'll go from there and see what happens. Super exciting stuff. We are finally back home between going to various supermarkets that took basically all day because it's now gone six o'clock. So joyous. Um, I did get myself a new coat though. I can't show you properly. I'll get I'll show you in a second. I'm very happy with it. It was like six pounds. It's all long and cosy. It was not six pound, that is a total lie. It was 30 pound. How did I get six from? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, Carl's aggravating the dog with a snood and I can't show you because he just ran away with it. Where are you? We go find him. What you got? Can I see? Bud. What you got? You have to stay Hi. still. Come here. Buddy. Sit. Buddy, stay, stay, sit down. Sit. Oh, he's too hyper. Yeah, crazy mutts. Also, our decorations are down and our lounge is back to this way and I hate it. Oh, wait, wait, are oh, you showing my coat? Yeah, I'm in pockets, puppy, and I feel cosy and it was 30 pounds. Okay, very close. Um, so yeah, ignore the chaos that is happening here. But the decorations are down, as you can see. Sofa is back over there, which I hate, but Carl's happier. Um, and our dining room is defestified. Well, everywhere is, to be fair. They're all down, they're just not put away yet. But yeah. You'll have to ignore all the uh, dog munching in the background, but all PJ'd up. I have these cuties on again. Um, did someone say snacks with the child on that Carl got me for Christmas. We didn't end up filming a what I got for Christmas because I just sit down vlogs I find awkward for some reason. This apparently is okay, but sitting down doesn't work for me. I don't know why, it just doesn't. Anyway, rambling. But I thought I'd show you some of the slightly more interesting things I picked up today. They might not be interesting. I think they're interesting, so I'm gonna show you. So one of my Christmas presents, which is actually still hanging out here, um, is a Calyx unit that I want to use for a bookcase. It's here because it was actually under our Christmas tree and we'd have had to move the whole tree to get it out. Um, and now where the Christmas decorations haven't gone back in the loft, they're still in the way. So it's just chilling there for a minute, but we'll sort that tomorrow. But to go on top of it, I have this really cool um, gold and cream uh, globe. I was going to say Atlas, but it's globe. Um, you may, if you watched our Vlogmas vlogs this year, remember that I got a little golden cream giraffe. So... I thought they could sit on one side together um, and it is super cute. Um, yeah, I really like it. It was £15 in Asda, so there you go if you do want it. Um, also in Asda, I got these two, they're like knit, well, there you go, knit bears, um, like knitted effect, but they are like ornaments. They're a reasonable size. I'm pretty sure full price these were £5 because I did see them before Christmas, um, but they were reduced to 250 today. So I have two of these because my mantelpiece now looks so bare, no pun intended. Um, so they are gonna go on there in a second. Um, also picked up another book because apparently I don't have enough. I said, didn't do a what I got for Christmas, but I'll show you some bits as we go. And I got a lot of books. So what I felt that I had to get another one for, I don't know, but, um, I read my first James Patterson book this year and I really enjoyed it so I thought I'd get another one. Um, it is a Christmas one so I'll probably keep it till next Christmas but there you go. Um, he wasn't reduced, it was four fifty, five pounds It was £5 actually and they were on two for eight. So I probably should have just got another one but I thought it was four fifty, so I didn't. Anyway, irrelevant. Either way, still really good to read. Um, and then lastly I got this really cute cushion that sadly is going to have to go in the loft with all the Christmas decorations but he's very cute and he can come out then next year and I think this was 
$3.99. It was originally $4.99. So not a massive saving, but he's very cute. And I look forward to getting him back out of our loft next year. So there are our little bears. They're very cute. I really like them. I may get um, like a succulent or something in like a little yellow pot to go here because we do have mustard in here too. I like them. They're sweet. Now I'm just trying to decide what to make for dinner. I'm having that problem, but I'm sure we all do, where you buy all the food. And now I don't know what to make. Because there is too much choice. Like, I don't want to go for anything too involved because it's quarter past seven and I can't be bothered. So <laughs> there's that side of it. Um, I'm going to do some chicken burgers. I mean chicken burgers. Change of plan. Carl wanted pizza. So he's having pizza and I'm having random things I found in the freezer. Obviously I'm not going to make all of this up, but I'm going to have a couple of nuggets, some halloumi fries, some sweet potato fries, and a couple of duck gaiuzu because you know, why wouldn't you? So when dinner's on, I was going to say I'd update you on what we've been doing since Christmas, but we haven't really been doing anything. We've been re-watching Game of Thrones, which is like a yearly tradition now for whatever reason. Um, that's about it, really. Not a lot else. I have a little bit of sale shopping, nothing too much. Um, did go to Ikea to get some frames the other day because I want to make a like gallery wall in our dining room because that wall is also super bare. Um, basically now we've taken down all of Christmas, our house is empty. So I'm going to fill it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, nothing. Nothing major exciting going on, so that's probably the plan for the rest of the night, to be honest with you. Just watch Game of Thrones, eat dinner, relax. So probably sign off for here. I've just burnt my finger on my gozu. Um, so yeah, we'll probably just sign out here and see you tomorrow. There it goes. Hello and happy Sunday. I was going to say good morning. It's not morning again. It's definitely afternoon. Um, we've been up since about half nine we've got into a really terrible routine of staying up really late so we sat up watching game of thrones until half past two this morning and then slept until half nine which is probably not great because we're back to work tomorrow which really sucks um not that i don't like my job but just obviously it's much more fun please ignore my terrible skin um it's much more fun to be off and doing things but hey we knew we had to get back and it'd probably be good to get some routine back because as I said ours is just terrible at the minute we just stay up really late and then sleep in and then we're like where the heck did the day go <laughs> so yeah um need to get some things done today so we've packed some orders this morning that we need to deliver because they are local um i want to get christmas decorations back in the loft i want to get my bookcase up and we need to put our desk back up um for working from home I don't know I'm probably not going to bother putting all of my stuff back out today because I've just had a text from my boss and I'm working from home tomorrow but the office on Tuesday and I don't know if that's just he wants me to cover for Tuesday because we have people training from our office or if I'm back full-time from Tuesday so I'll probably just sign in from my Mac um without like a desk desk tomorrow and then we'll go from there so yeah fun times but I'm looking forward to getting my bookcase all set up. I think I'm still waiting for one thing to arrive that I want to put on the top. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to get all the books sorted today because it's Sunday and I don't want to. But we do need to go put decorations in the loft. That's the first thing. Okay, first mission. All of this in the loft. Space cleared. Box is upstairs, I'm gonna put it together. Unit is up and fits in this space perfectly. You just need to paint the banister now, so it's white as well. Yeah, we're gonna get someone in to do that this year because I don't want to. We also wanna get this gray changed because it didn't come out how we wanted it, which is kind of why this got abandoned. Um, and we also need to finish up here. So yeah, still a few bits to do in here, but at least now I have somewhere for my books to live. And one bookcase, all set up. Um, I say all set up, there's still a bit of space and there's still more books around, but generally I'm pretty happy with it. have my globe and my giraffe here, 
um, this ridiculous Shakespeare book that Carl got me. Was this the first Christmas we were together? Maybe. I think it was. Um, which is the Library of Shakespeare, so we've just popped that on the top. My little wax warming lamp, um, and I have some flowers coming that are going here. And we have most of the Harry Potter collection. This is actually Becca's, which is why it's not complete, because I've given her the first two back. My Game of Thrones shelf. Um, Twisted Tales, and then the Villain series. Carl's mixture of bits and pieces with a couple of mine that we just squeezed in there. Um, your kind of coffee table and cookbooks. And this little section's like miscellaneous Disney, and then some fantasy. We have some spare Game of Thrones ones here, don't ask. Um, romance, which as you can see is very empty. <laughs> um, and then some mystery books. So we've just been chilling out, having a cuppa um, after doing our bookshelf, and, or my bookshelf technically speaking, but ours. Um, and now I'm doing something I haven't done for ages and I'm making some wax melts. At least it feels like ages. Um, I've ordered some, they're upside down, <laughs> some heart moulds obviously for Valentine's Day. So I've got two lots to make up for that today um, and then they are all ready to go then. So that will be good um, and I can get them live on the shop tomorrow then. Um, and then we have a new Harry Potter range coming soon. My mould for that should be here tomorrow so I can start making those up and get them ready to be live on the shop too. Um, I've got quite a lot to do for them, so I want to do the whole lot first and then list them all as one go, so I don't know when they're going to be live yet. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, otherwise, spoilers, there is a Harry Potter collection coming soon. So, melts are all made and I'm in the middle of making us a mammoth roast dinner. Um, I've made enough for four, but I have done that deliberately because um, what I'll do is I'll pot the rest all up and then we can reheat it, make some fresh gravy tomorrow and have a second roast dinner, which is always fun. Um, so I normally just put them in like an oven dish, make the gravy, pour it on top and wrap it in foil and just kind of really slowly heat everything back through. Um, so yeah, as we're back to work, I thought that would be a nice post-work treat without like a great deal of effort, which is always a bonus. Yummy roast dinner. And we have the same again for tomorrow. And I think I'm a genius right now dinner has been consumed dinner defeated me i uh got a bit carried away there but it's fine we now have like three tubs of food to put in the fridge so that will be dinner sorted for tomorrow and possibly tuesday as well <laughs> winner um i don't think it's gonna be much else going on now probably just watch game of thrones until bedtime and then back to work tomorrow so thank you for watching the first weekend vlog of 2021 sorry if it was a little bit boring but that's still COVID restrictions for you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye guys.